Okay, I'm gonna make a video on how to uh, change out the PLCs. First, I'm gonna take these doors off. Then we're gonna unplug the ethernet. Pay attention to where the ethernet cable is because it may be different on your machine. Then there's a little slot in here. You stick your screwdriver underneath it and you lift up and it pops. As soon as it pops, you can take those out. Do the bottom one the same way. Pops out, real simple. Loosen up the tab here on the side, move it out of the way. Make sure the cable's not locked into the raceway and then gently push this over. Obviously, you want all the power off, which is, this is already done on this machine. This one here, use the same little screwdriver. You push in on this tab here, you push in and then over. Slides out of the way real nice. Then on the bottom, connect it into the, the DIN rail with these little locks. You just pop those open like that. So we're going to do that on this one. Okay, once that's done, you, you lift, lift it up and tilt it. Units out. Next one. Get it to line in. And then before I lock the bottom, you want to push these together. That way if you need to move it, you still can. And then gently push this guy in. Okay. And then these take a little bit of effort to get in because you want to make sure they're in 100%. So you get all the cables back and you start at the bottom so they're tilted. And then you roll it up and you should hear it snap. It has to snap. If it doesn't snap, it's probably not in right. See, like that one didn't snap. So we're gonna do it again. Okay. I don't know if the audio heard that or not, but it snapped in now. Okay, and then we put our ethernet back in. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, we're done.